Welcome to Cricut Crafts by Joe. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use LED lights in your card projects. To prevent this video from getting super long I have decided to make it a three-part series. First will be me using my Tombow Jewel Brush markers to colour in and decorate the dog. The second will be creating the galaxy effect background with distress inks and then using embossing powder to add embellishment. And then the third part will be the electrical elements of it. This third part I'm going to show you now, but if you'd like to see the other two videos then click on the links and they're also listed in the description below. So, for the electrical element part of this card you will need the following you'll need some LED lights. I'm using some SMD LED diodes that I bought from Amazon. I got a pack of 100 warm white fifth, sorry, 5 mil chips for about £2.80. All the items that I use in this video, I will pop the link to them all in the description box below. So check them out if you would like. To power our lights, I'm using some CR2025 3 volt lithium watch batteries and then some conductive copper foil self adhesive tape to create our circuit. I've got some black 350 GSM card here and I've just turned it into a 6 inch square card. So I've just put a nice score line down the left hand side there. And I'm ready to show you my galaxy background and my Tombow dog, which I've finished. So here's the galaxy background, and all I've done is just simply add a little bit of a silver mirrored cardstock edge all the way round, just to finish it off ever so slightly. You'll notice I haven't stuck this down or my little dog, and there's a reason for this. It's because we are going to lay the LED light circuit underneath this galaxy background so we don't want to stick it down yet. So here are the lights, this is the packet they came in, as I said earlier I'm using warm white and the LED lights are little chips and they come in this kind of what I can only describe as a bit of a, a film reel style packet and they just simply pop out the back um, a bit like a tablet blister pack. These LED lights require a 3 volt battery. It will tell you in the description of the lights that you buy exactly what power they require. And I settled on this 2025 watch battery as it gave me roughly about the right length to depth ratio that I thought would suit me for my card making. So I want to pop the battery underneath the dog star and use the star as a bit of an uh, on-off switch to power the lights. Um, I'm going to use three LED lights and I think I'm going to place them roughly about here um, and just make them look like they're extra stars really. So I need to position my galaxy background roughly uh, where it's going to lie on the card so that I can mount the battery on the card in the right place. So. I think I'm about happy with that position and my little dog I'm probably going to have about that position as well so I'm just going to hold a pencil roughly above the centre of where the battery is going and then whip out the background and just mark the black card below and X marks the spot. So I've got my battery and now I'm just going to pop out my three LED lights from their packet and I'm going to put them roughly where I would like them and then we're going to have to draw a rough circuit so I can show you how we're going to line them up. It's better I show you rather than try and explain because I'm not very good at explaining and you'll understand it a lot better when you can see exactly what we're doing. So I've made, laid my three LED lights out where I want them and the battery and we're going to create a on off switch because we don't want our lights lit permanently. To do this I've just got a scrap piece of white card and I'm just going to house the battery in this. So 
going to stick foil over this flap of card and when you press the flap down, which is going to be hidden underneath my doggy star, so when you press the star it will push the flap down onto the battery and join up the copper circuit. I've drawn the circuit for you to see and I've drawn a line from the negative side which is the underside of the battery going all the way to our first light and I've just drawn a little dot where the LED light's going and then a cross to our second light and then down to our third light and I've just put a little minus on here for you to see. And then we're going from our positive side all the way around back to the top side of the battery, remembering that we have got to leave enough foil to go over the top of our on-off cardboard flap. So taking the copper adhesive foil, as you can see I've literally slit it down um, in half just to make it that little bit easier to bend and curve but also it just saves on um, our copper foil. So hopefully you can see this little LED chip has three contact points on its negative side and three contact points on its positive side. Now when laying down the copper strip we need to ensure that these three contact points are in contact with the copper foil. So we need to line it close together to ensure that each side of the light is in contact with its corresponding copper foil side, but that they're not that close that they're gonna touch and bridge. So just go ahead and move the lights out the way. I'm just gonna stick this cardboard flap down now, just using a little bit of wet glue. So I'm just going to pop that down and then bring in my little dog just to make sure that I'm sticking this flap in the right position. With our on off switch now in the right position we're ready to lay down our copper adhesive foil. So simply take the foil and then peeling off the backing to it. I'm going to start with the negative side. So this I'm so just going to lay I'm simply lay roughly following to get the back of it. It's a little bit our fiddly dot where our LED light is. Make sure that you really smooth this um, adhesive down. The smoother it goes on, the better. And then literally just curve it round on itself. You can do this by just pressing it down as you curve. You can do a really tight 90 degree turn on it if you wish but yeah just make sure that you smooth it down all the way so i'm just going to run that along and start our next corner ready for our second led point and working it around the corner making sure again i can't stress it enough that you press it down really really smoothly you can always use the back of your nail if this helps and take it down to where our third LED light is and just take a pair of scissors and snip the end off. So that's our negative side done and we're ready to go in with our positive track. So the positive side, remember to place it on the inside of your flap first. So just take the adhesive backing off, lay it down in the middle of your flap and then just simply fold it over the card to the back and I'm just going to take it to the very edge of the back and then work it down onto the black card and remembering to smooth it down all the way and where we were putting our first light just here, you need to remember to fix them so that they are almost touching, so that the three contact points on either side of the light can easily touch either side of the copper foil. 
So I'm just going to do this working all the way round, uh, making sure I smooth it all the way. Apologies that my head seems to have clipped into view on the camera here, but I have a habit of when I'm working on fiddly things like this to get super, super close to what I'm working with and I forget about the camera up above me. So, hey ho. All the copper foil is laid down now and we have our circuits. So just pop the battery in and we need to work out which is the negative and which is the positive side of our lights so that we can ensure that we put them in the correct way into our circuits so that they will work. So as you can see, I'm just twiddling the light round here to work out which is the negative and which is the positive side. And I've just had to press down on the light just to ensure that it comes into contact with the copper foil. I've worked out the negative and positive sides now on all three LEDs and I found the best way to attach them is either just literally sellotaping them on or using some high tack glue which I've just got in this precision tip nozzle and I haven't done this on purpose but those of you that are eagle eyed might have noticed that this point here is too wide for my LED light to touch both sides of the foil. So if you've made this mistake like me, do not panic. You can either have a go at gently lifting the foil up or if that's not going to work like this isn't in this case then just simply cut out a little extra strip of foil and patch it up. This really doesn't matter and again you can use this patch technique if when you are laying your foil you accidentally rip it. And apologies I seem to have got my head in the camera again. So going back to the glue, sorry, all you literally do is pick up your LED light and place the tiniest of blobs of glue in the middle and then just simply put it in place along the tracks and um, push down. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all three and then what I have found works best is that it needs quite a little bit of pressure to ensure that the LED light is stuck down properly to the contact foil. So what I tend to do is glue them all in place and then get something really heavy. In this case I've just got a pile of 12 by 12 cardstock books on the side that I am just going to place down over the top and leave it for at least half an hour until I know that the glue is definitely dry and the lights aren't going to move in any way. So our lights are all dry now and held in place and as you can see when I press the switch down all the lights work. So in order for our switch not to be pressed on permanently I'm going to use some foam tape and literally just build it up round the battery so that the card um, you have to physically push down onto the battery to switch it on. So I've just laid the first piece of tape down and then just with some of my wet glue I'm just going to put a blob of this on the card next to the foil and then just take the battery and glue that down in place. Now with my adhesive foam tape, I just got this from the pound shop I'm just going to carry on building it up around the battery. So once you have built it up around the battery, I'm then just going to take my Galaxy background and do the same to that. Because obviously it needs to be raised slightly because the LED lights 
do have a bit of thickness so you can't stick the galaxy background straight flush flat onto the black card. All I'm doing here is we don't need the full thickness of the tape so again I've just literally sliced it in half and it goes twice as far. When peeling off when the peeling off to your double-sided uh, foam double tape, make sure that you only peel the three sides off, the top, the bottom and the right side, not the side where the flap is going, because if you peel this off and then stick the flap down, it will stick. So make sure that you do not peel it off. Now I want to show you a little trick, and here you can see that I'm just literally peeling the corners off and then turning them to 90 degrees and I'm doing this in the two opposite corners because if you peel it all off you can often struggle to then get it perfectly lined up without the top layer coming into contact with the bottom layer and getting stuck and then there's nothing you can do. So all you have to worry about at the moment is your two sticky corners. The other two corners and the rest of the edges are not sticky because they still have the transfer tape on. So line it up to a position that you are happy with. You only have to worry about your two sticky corners not touching the card. So when you are happy with how you have lined it up, all you then do is touch and firmly press down in your two sticky corners like I'm doing here and then you just literally can pull the backing tape away from the card and you have your perfectly lined matte layer. So as you can see I've pressed the flap where our on off switch is under and unfortunately because I'm filming this in daylight with a daylight lamp you can't really see the LED light shining through and I managed to have put one a stamp right above it so it's not showing quite as well. Also because I'm using the dark cardstock well not dark cardstock, white cardstock that I have coloured, it won't show through as well as if I had coloured it with a lighter card or had used just white card. But there we go, that's the project. I'm going to put a few shots up of the card in the dark so that you can see the LED lights really shining through. I hope you found this useful and I've really enjoyed doing this. It's something a little bit different, it's a bit quirky. And buying the LED lights like this and the batteries is a much, much cheaper alternative to a certain brand of LED electrical craft card bundles that you can buy. So I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support and see you in the next one. Bye.